Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be going over how to fix uh, a Kickstarter on this uh, PW50. So here's our issue with our Kickstarter is, well, it doesn't do Kickstarter things. So we had ordered up uh, what I hope are the right parts and uh, we'll start tearing this thing down. So to start, we're going to remove the back seat here, and that is just two 10 millimeter screws in the back. Oh, that's tight. And the seat comes off. Alright, now we'll take our gas tank off, and uh, it's a 10, mil 10 millimeter bolt running through here. So I'm going to socket on the other side. And then there's just a... Alright, then we want to take this off here. We'll find out. So that way, since we disconnected all this, we can just pull the whole thing off. And Alright, then on the other side of the bike, we're going to take the exhaust off. And that is uh, two 10 millimeter screws here. And I believe that's a uh, 12. I'm not sure offhand, but... Take these out first. The back of this header flange is slotted, so we shouldn't have to take them out all the way. Should just be able to slide it forward. All right, back here we have is it a 12 millimeter. Take that off, and then the whole exhaust should slide forward. All right, now we want to take our carburetor and air box off. So the air box is just this one clamp here. Actually, don't even need a pliers. And just kind of wiggle it free. There is a screw right underneath here, so we would have been wiggling for a while. Take that screw out. Now it should just wiggle. There we go. Oh man, it looks like we're going to have to rebuild this carburetor too. Probably clean out our airbox, but we're going to take our slides off the top here. And to get the carb off, another Phillips here. It should just spin back. All right, on the other side of the oil pump here, there is a screw. All right, we're back on the other side of the bike again. And we're gonna pull out this screw here on the uh, oil pump cover. All right, so then we're going to take this screw out here. Actually, there is another screw hiding down here. Right now we should be able to wiggle it free. All right, it does just take a little bit of persuasion once you get your, your screws out. So that is our carb and oil pump. All right, so we ended up finagling that uh, uh, oil pump out. And I would say that uh, disconnecting your oil line first will keep it from looking like a Smurf crime scene. But end up getting all that out of the way, cleaned up the, the oil spill. So now what we're doing is just disconnecting all of our electrical connections here. All right, so that should be everything disconnected. All right, then we also have to disconnect the rear back brake here. That's just a 12 millimeter. And we should be able to 
pop that up. All right, then we want to remove our shocks. That back in. Same thing on the other side. And then I think we're gonna take this bolt out. That's a 14 millimeter. So that runs through the frame. So I get a wrench on both sides. Alright, now with that bolt out, we should just be able to lift up and slide the whole assembly out. Alright, it seems like a lot of work to get to this point, but it's really not that bad. So this is the point where we need to get at this guy. All right, so there is oil in here and before we dump oil all over again, we're gonna drain it out and this is the drain plug down here. Well, it turns out a red Solo cup is just big enough. All right, I think we're, we're good with that. Right underneath there and drip the rest. All right, then we can start popping out all our screws. You do have to use a, a number three Phillips on these, otherwise they will just uh, they'll just strip out on you. All right. All right. So now we're in. You gotta take this. Clip off, and then and this should just slide straight out, and then we have another clip on here. And this can slide right out. Now you can actually see why or what actually broke. Well, let me, let me pull this guy out. So you can see as you move the Kickstarter, okay, Kickstarter is moving, but this had snapped off. Yep, there's part of the broken one. And this slides out. Alright, so to get this out, we gotta take the Kickstarter off the other side. Alright, so then to get the Kickstarter off here, it's just a 10 millimeter bolt running through there. And now we can push our Kickstarter through. All right, so here's our Kickstarter. And there's the broken weld. All right, so we have the replacement parts here. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, we got a new spring. So that goes. Now, honestly, this does not look as well made as, let's say, the actual Yamaha one. Actually, this one feels kind of cheap. As far as the spring goes, spring looks to be about the same. So I think what we're going to do is actually reuse the original Yamaha stuff and not this crappy Chinese stuff. And um, so that one we'll reuse. 
Now as far as the machining quality on here, I mean the Yamaha one is much better. So I'm not sure if you can actually see the difference in threads there. And this one is really clean cut. And this is very like rough and chewed up. It just it seems like a poor casting. And this one's still in good shape, so I think we're also gonna use the original. Set that one aside. Let's take a look at these gears here. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing. It's just really crappy put together. And there's nothing wrong with these, no teeth miss missing. So I think we're gonna stick with the original Yamaha stuff, set that aside, and only use just this piece. All right, so we're ready to start reassembling here. I'm just gonna put some fresh oil on the new shaft here, just so we're not dr going in dry. Seems fine. And then we're gonna slide this guy in. Actually, I think we gotta do it the other way around. We're gonna slide that in first. And making sure that spring tab goes between those two mounting pads. This guy in and our e clip. All right, then there's this spacer. All right, so this is probably the most difficult part. So this tab here mounts inside of this hole here and this comes up around here so I think how we're gonna do this is go with that in there first then line up the flat side on the flat side here hold that in and then just bend this thing around do it all right then we can start stacking on our other parts here so we have uh, the clip the washer line that up we can put our clutch cover back on and our final clip here All right, so that's that's it. We are ready to start reass reassembling the, the case and the bike and put all the other parts back in. And the oil drain plug here. Alright, we just have this guy loose for now. And I think we're ready to slide the front of the bike back on.
All right, we finally got this bolt through here. Turns out it was easier to put the, the back shocks lined up first, and then this just kind of lined up pretty easily by itself. So we'll put our bolt in there. Tighten it back down. Rear shocks here. And then we can move on to connecting all these wires. So it's pretty much just matching up the different barrels and, and then we can hook up our oil line. Might have been easier to do before I bolted this down. All right, let's take that back. All right, yeah, so it was definitely easier to loosen up the pump bolts here to get that line on. Then we have to weave this thing through. Now we can put our cover plate back on. All right, on to our carburetor side. All right, and then we're just gonna reline up our carburetor. Floats. There are some grooves on the inside that you do have to line up with. All right, that's back in. Ooh, this has a Bakuni on it. That is fancy. All right, we do have to adjust our, our kickstarter because we just arbitrarily uh, threw it on before just to test. So we'll take that bolt back out. I actually don't remember which position this thing goes in. Sure, let's put it right there. Why not? All right, and we could put our, well, we're going to put half of the air box on because the air filter that I pulled out literally just disintegrated in my fingers. We don't want to suck that crap through the engine, so we do need a new one. But, so we'll just mount the back half here. All right, and while we're over on this side, we can hook up our rear brake. Let's try that again. Slide in. I think that's pretty good. We can always adjust it later. All right, now we can put our exhaust back on. So, Kind of a uh... All right, and then and fish tightening down this guy. Perfect. And then the lower section of our exhaust. It's supposed to go something like that. Tighten this down. This but there we go. All right, now for the gas tank. This is just gonna sit up here, and our bolt slides through.
little rubber cap goes there. And then the strap back here goes back on. There we go. Tank is back on. We will rehook up our fuel line here. Alright, then we're ready to put our seat back on. And this just slides underneath there, up front. And two screws hold it in place. We have no spare parts sitting on the ground, so um, I think we're good. Uh, we just gotta put some oil in here and uh, Fill it up with some fresh gas. Go take it on a rip. See how it does. Thanks for watching. Uh, this was uh, another fun build. Um, if you found this useful or just entertaining, please like and subscribe. Thank you.